Hey guys, it's Tiff, and this is a video response to Nicole, who is Scrapology. Um, she is having a small giveaway of um, a couple of books about photography. So she wanted us to pull a photo that we've taken that we really, really love um, and tell kind of why we love it. And so this is the photo that I chose, and it's a picture of Parker from the beach um, in Daytona, and he's just running down the beach. Um, in the shallow water, and I love it. It is so Parker. This is what he does constantly at the beach. He just loves to be playing and moving and on the go. And even though you can't see his face, like I could instantly look at it and tell you that it's Parker. It just completely takes me um, to him. So she did not require that you did a layout, but I went ahead and did a layout because I've been wanting to scrap this for a while, and I just kind of got inspired um, by her by her um, challenge or whatnot. So I wanted to also share the layout with you um, while we were here. So I used craft cardstock as the background and I took my Atlantic 6x6 paper pad and laid it on my desk and pulled out my washi and just started pulling washi that I felt like blended with that collection. So across the background there is a ton of different washies. And um, this was loosely inspired by Corey Jones over at Two Peas in a Bucket. She had done a layout. Now, she did more of like an ombre effect, and I still want to do a layout like that, too. It's really fun. And she did hand-cut shapes, but I used um, my Big Shot and cut out these anchors from a Hero Arts and Archivers exclusive die set. Um, it comes with a stamp, too, but I didn't use that because I used vellum. This is Sun Drifter vellum. This is um, a glassine bag, and then this is just a random piece of scrap vellum that I had. should probably adhere that. But anyways. Um, and I really like how that looks. I used my tiny attacher to attach it in a couple spots and then um, added some twine and used my tiny attacher to attach that as well. And um, I know, you know, on a more formal layout, it would bother me that the staples aren't gold. But to me, this is kind of an informal layout, so it doesn't really bother me to have two different metals on here. Um, and then underneath each one, let me pull this in closer so you can see. I also got this. I think it was Corey Jones. It was last week's video. Um, somebody took their glitter glue and just put it on their finger and rubbed it behind stuff. And I really like the look of that. It brings in a little bit more of the gold, which you can see is in the title. Um, throughout the layout and I just really like how that looks um, so these are Maggie Holmes stickers and then these are um, oh, October afternoon mini markets and um, blue and cream and then this is just some wood veneers from last month's studio calico kit and so is this um, it's a geotag and um, the paper oh that's it this is a piece from the 6x6 paper pad, and I really wanted to include the blue at the top, and I, I was going to leave it the way it was, but I couldn't get it to adhere correctly and not show the, the little notch there. You know, it's a circle, so I cut off the other half and put it down here, and then put a notch here, so it looks kind of like a die cut piece instead of a piece from, this, just a random piece from the 6x6 paper pad, and I really like how that turned out, and then I just did my journaling along this side. Um, obviously leaving the anchor so it's easy to see. So that is my layout and my photo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!